So moving to chapter number four, the best option for you. In summary, in year 2023, it's a very, very complex year for the property market. With the high interest rate, with recession coming, and of course, with all the new launches coming, which could be an uh, supply or oversupply in the marketplace, and with the TDSR making less, uh, uh, making buyers price out from the marketplace, we see that this is basically a play of affordability. Okay. And don't buy into hype because many a times many people will buy because the fact that a lot of people are going in and we learned just now that popularity is not everything. If you were to buy because it's popular and you don't follow the urban transformation fundamentals of zoning, you may have missed out. All right. So it's very important of that. Understand your intent and budget. And that's where I work very closely with my mortgage master team. Um, if this now you can put out the mortgage master link uh, for them to reach out to uh, David Bay and his team. I think that will be important because this is important, especially with the ongoing TDSR stress testing adjustment. Okay, so we start if you could just put it out there in the chat box so that they could also get their loan assessment done in the event if they want to go into the market, especially uh, in April or in May with the adjustment going on. All right, because with that budget and intent, you will then know your holding period and of course your exit strategy. And many a times, many buyers go to the sales floor without knowing their affordability. For us, we do it very differently. We want to make sure that you are able to get a sensing of how much you can afford. Because again, on the sales floor, if people, as we saw in my advertising collaterals as well, usually the salesperson will try to upsize you. Why? Because that is a bracket that not many people can buy into. And that will increase the chance of them transacting a unit review. So uh, rather than upsizing, I think it's very important that we see how much you can afford so you won't end up forfeiting your purchase all right so next thing going back to basic urban transmission zones and fundamentals are important and there is no sure win easy way and planning is the key if you don't plan if you don't educate yourself in such webinar that i do every quarterly as well then you may only be listening to all the seminars out there which is mainly all about selling products right so over here we are more focused about the market you and of course what best fit you in the current marketplace so don't wait to buy property buy property to wait because over the last two decades we have seen how people get priced out we have seen the price never really drop but rather sentiment drop all right so people who have been you know uh, waiting and waiting for new homes i've seen how they have also moved towards the resale market as well and resale market is not say it's not good it's just that optimization why is not optimizing as how we see just on the comparison of jscape versus thompson tree as an, as an example so the review of new launches that we saw just now uh, which is the entire chart that we need to really really focus on and moving ahead understand what you are buying okay because you want to make sure that uh, these are the investment deck that uh, me and my research team comes together to build so that you are able to know if you're buying into anything you know what is the surrounding competitive analysis pricing and also why certain prices are increasing and what could be the catalyst to push it even higher more importantly the urban transformation zone followed by the exit strategy of this development so every product that we advocate just now right we actually shows you the so-called timeline that you could or rather we did a deck for you so that you know how, when to exit as well so these are the upcoming new launches in Q2 to Q3 and we want to make sure that uh, if you are looking and focusing on optimizing your real estate game this would be the product that you should be eyeing all right especially if people who are in the west side they want to stay within the west the east side want to stay within the, the east seldom I see that people who are in the east want to buy the west especially for dwelling all right so if you are priced out okay what do you do is it all opportunities out for you because new homes is no longer something you can afford it used to be two bedders at 1.2 million back in 2018 and right now two bedders are 1.5 to 1.7 million can you see that 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 five percent annualized growth right if you if you buy in the right area you basically enjoy that growth and that's why you are able to sell at 1.5 million today even though you bought in 1.2 million approximately uh four or five years ago okay so not all hope is lost in fact we have year high potential gems in the marketplace that gives you very specific matrices of how property or the parameters that we have set out like property shouldn't be should at least have nine years shelf life left minimum of 280 units for high transaction volume within urban transformation zones 
and fundamentals as well and also transport hub and whatnot okay so me and my team basically go into that particular parameters uh, in fact we hire an agency to run through this data with us okay and to give you an insight of how does it look like this is like the master list that we have and we have about approximately 50 over 60 over projects in this master list where we dive into whether there's even dual key in the development the year of completion because this is where the shelf life count starts the number of units in the development because this will give you the volume or not when it comes to resellability the different plots of land the urban transformation activities or initiative and also the MRTs and the reputable primary school. So everything that we, we tell you we do research, it's not like we just throw something out and then just, you know, uh, ask you to buy, all right? 